What is going on my beautiful people? I hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at MIUI 10.3 running Android 9.0 Pi on our MI1, the T-Sword. Now again, I haven't actually been making videos for this thing because this thing is a headache. If you don't already know, MI1 is a AB partition phone, a seamless update phone and Maintaining these phones are extremely hard for even the developers and then again it's just a headache that these phones doesn't even have a separate recovery partition. So I know I do have a OnePlus 6 and MI1 but I just don't make a lot of videos on them especially the OnePlus 6 cause it's even more of a headache than this thing. Cause of course this is a Xiaomi phone and Xiaomi phones are always known for better developments and stuff but seriously AB partition phones are a headache. But then again, this video isn't something that you should be actually happy about cause there is no one working on it. This is just a GSI that I'm going to show you guys cause I got many messages from Instagram that I'm just going to review it how it runs on the MI1. Cause this is a GSI again from our boy Irfan who actually ports many of the stuff like the OEM ports like discontinued one UI then the auction OS without any patches and stuff. So again hats off to him. Again great job with the Android Q. This is not like the earlier Epic ROM ports. The Epic ROM is actually ported from the Mi 5X official updates. This is complete GSI running of a Pi vendor and a Pi kernel, which was just posted for the MI1. So again, Pi 4.9 prepared kernels have been implemented into the vendors, which is again just great. The performance is just amazing on the GSIs. But then again, let's just take a look. So again, as you can see, this is the GSI. Now this GSI is completely based off Mix 3. So there are many features which are not even of use, but it's quite the interesting look to just explore them but then again this is how it looks there is not a lot of bloatware actually i have added some apps over here then again on the left you have your normal shelf going to the quick settings panel you have your normal toggles over here as you can see very beautiful and sleek animations again the blur is much more premium like as this is ported from the mix 3 again if you scroll around you get dual gps which is not working on the mi1 because we don't have one then again over here you have extreme battery saving which I haven't actually seen. Now basically right now here it just applies a black wallpaper and the battery icon turns yellow. That means I guess the performance is lower down but the apps and stuff still like stay white. So again as Mix 3 as an AMOLED panel this might help over here just doesn't make a lot of sense. Then again going through another things just normal MIUI is based off MIUI 10.3 so latest and the greatest that MIUI has to offer. MI cam is completely broken over here cause Mix 3 has just much more advanced one that can't be actually easily ported for all the GSS but you of course have the Gcam working over here as you can see the shutter speed is just amazing. And then again going through another apps even with the clock and stuff you still get your normal clock. And then again as this is a Xiaomi EU build you get pretty much everything that MIO has to offer both from the stable and the beta builds. So even if you go to the security and stuff you have game speed booster, whatsapp cleaner, facebook cleaner from the global ports. Again this ROM has AI preloading and stuff so again if you open the apps and just keep it like that for a few seconds they open actually pretty much instantaneously. So again going through another stuff like just going to the settings as you can see these are the specs going to the all specs over here Android version 9 MIUI version 10.3.1 which is pretty latest to be honest Android version 9 Pi the latest that Android skin has to offer then again going back this is a PKQ1 so you don't get the newer easter egg. Then again, I also have this running on my Redmi Note 4. Well, not the same one, but Redmi Note 4, it's... Wow, that's funny. But Redmi Note 4 is actually my stabler one and I'm actually testing this stuff. So I may actually make a video on installing this thing like the MIUI Pi version for the Redmi Note 4 because some of the people do actually think that if the video is 10 minutes, it actually takes 10 minutes to make it. There is no like background testing and fixing going on. The GSI just pops out of heaven. So again, this will take a bit of a time, but surely video for the Redmi Note 4 will come soon. Again, this is MIUI 10.3 running all good. But going back over here, pretty much nothing. If you go to the display, contrast and colors, you don't get the wheel, which is a bit weird to see that Mix 3 doesn't have it. But going back, you have screen resolution, which I did actually know Mix 3 had. I only thought that LG and Samsung phones had it. So screen resolution, you can actually switch to 720p. You can hit apply over here. It will scale once. And now the display is actually 720p. Now you can't actually make it through the camera, but phone feels a bit snappier, but it's a bit blurry. So again, switching back to 1080p, much clearer font then again scrolling down you have ambient display which is probably broken to be honest but here you go you can actually customize it over here you have to actually enable it for that and then again this is pretty good option i think mi 9 has it not only the mix 3 but you can actually browse through these clocks over here which actually look pretty cool but it's just broken as this is a gsi you have to do actually much more lib porting for it but looks pretty cool to be honest 
but then again going back you have double tap to wake rise to wake rise to wake is completely broken double tap to wake surely works here you go here is your lock screen you also have a live wallpaper and the clock can be made vertically let's just explore the live wallpapers if you go here you get about like six video wallpapers which are basically not live wallpapers these are just videos so if you apply them on the home screen and lock screen they just keep on playing then again you have this one which is pretty cool to be honest then again you have this black one which also looks amazing if you have a full screen display phone then you have this normal MIUI 10 one you have this one from the Mi 8 and then again one from the Mi 8 these are pretty cool to be honest then again going to the normal wallpapers you pretty much have nothing you just get new one from the Mix 3 then again scrolling down lock screen and password you do have face data and fingerprint scanner now fingerprint scanner completely works face data doesn't actually just enroll your face which is a bit weird but surely developer has removed in order to boot this gsi then again go into the notification and status bar if you scroll down you have quick settings layout which can be made compact of course as this is a xiaomi eu build this actually looks pretty cool in terms of animation but we will just select for the default notification style MIUI and Android. Then again, going back to the home screen and the recent, you of course have show memory status and the suggestions right over here in the recent apps panel. Now, as this is MIUI 10.3, the animations are much more adjusted. Now, there is a bit of a lag as this is a Snapdragon 625 phone, but works pretty great to be honest for some time. But then again, just going back to another options, you have slider settings. Now, as Mi X3 is a sliding phone, it doesn't have a physical motor and stuff. You can actually take selfie open tools now this is none of use to us but taking just a look at these features it's pretty good that the xiaomi has made previews for it just for one phone which is a lot of effort to be honest but you have these effects and stuff when you open it then again going back to battery and performance basically you just get adaptive battery as this is android pi base nothing much over here Again, going down, you have MIUI lab in which you have AI preloading and find photos in gallery. Very handy features. Car mode has been removed through over here, which is none of use outside China. And then pretty much nothing. If you go to the advanced features, um, then going down to the developer options, you of course get night mode completely working as this is MIUI 10.3. As you can see, completely turns to black. If you go to any kind of app and stuff, it's again completely black. So you don't have to use any kind of third party theme over here to just mess up with the UI. Then again, security app is still white, of course. Again, I guess even with the calendar, which we don't have over here, even the recorder, wow, it turns black, pretty good. Now the shelf is also black, our quick setting panel too. There is no blur at all, but in the recent times panel, there is a bit of a blur, but the tint is extremely dark. So if you have an AMOLED phone, this is a lot of handy. You can of course turn it off anytime. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the complete review of Mix 3 GSI on our MIA one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos on the MIA one, please subscribe down there and be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you found this helpful, please share it with your friends and family and see you guys in the next one. Peace.